Today we're here to introduce you to the push button interface of the Altro transmitters. This will be extremely user friendly for those who wish to program without using a handheld or PC software. This will also allow you to do programming in the field without compromising any of your area approvals. For this example I'm going to remove the display so that you can see it, but just note that if you're in the field this is not necessary. First, where are the buttons? They're located under the top cover here, which can be accessed by loosening the two screws. If you slide this back, you will notice that there are two buttons, the one here labeled zero, and the second one labeled span. We are going to use these two buttons to access the programming modes. One thing to note before we get started is that to actually enter configuration modes, we push them both together. If we push one or the other separately, that's going to be utilizing a different programming technique which will require a pressure source. So first let's walk through basic menu navigation. To access, one thing to remember is that with Autrol we push, we look for the change on the display, and then we release the push buttons. That is going to be important throughout all the menus and all the different programming sequences you'll encounter using the push button programming. Let's take an example. We're going to first look at accessing the menu. One thing to note is that there are going to be a couple errors which I'll show you if we don't program and use the buttons accordingly to the way they were designed. First, we push both the zero and span buttons. We're going to wait for the indication to change here on the menu and release. That's going to get us into the first part of the menu tree. You're going to notice that if I don't do anything, there's a timeout feature. This will allow it to go back into normal operation if you start a configuration with the push buttons, but don't put any values or make any changes. You'll see it here fairly shortly with this BT error. You can also get this error if we mistakenly hold down and do not release. So for example, push both the zero and span, see the menu, but we don't let go. That's going to give you that same error. Now, before we get started on navigating the menus, let's show you what the tree looks like. You can see that we've got each one of these labeled as to what their function is, and we're going to be navigating both up and down and over into the deeper sections of those menus. So, let's give it a try and do the basics. First, to access the configuration mode, we push and hold both the zero and the span button at once. Wait to see the change where it says menu, and release both of them. This is going to take us to trim, which is the first menu, and it's conveniently labeled. To navigate up and down, we will always use the zero button. So we push and hold zero. It's going to wait for the change, number two setup, and release. The release is very important. Remember, we will see that BTR if we do not let go of the button. Again, going down one more, which is the third menu, push and hold the zero button again and we'll see the number three which is the LCD. Now these three menus have deeper sections and we'll go back to the trim to show you how to navigate over into the deeper menus. Again we're going to push and hold zero, wait for it to change, let go to cycle through. Now to access the deeper menus we're going to use the span button. So just as before we hit and hold the span button, we wait to register the change and release. And that's pretty much the basics that you're going to get used to in programming using the field, field programmable buttons. So if you have any other questions, please access the manuals which are available at autrolltransmitters.com.